Robert Oppenheimer was an American physicist and one of the key figures in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. Born on 22 April 1904 in New York City, Oppenheimer displayed exceptional intelligence from a young age and showed a keen interest in science and mathematics. His academic prowess led him to attend Harvard University, where he excelled in physics and chemistry, and later pursued a PhD in theoretical physics at the University of Göttingen in Germany. Upon returning to the United States in the 1000s, 1930s, Oppenheimer became a prominent professor at the University of California, Berkeley, and the California Institute of Technology. During this time, he made significant contributions to theoretical physics, particularly in the fields of quantum mechanics and nuclear physics. He was widely regarded as one of the most brilliant minds of his generation and had an uncanny ability to synthesize complex ideas. In the early 1940s, as World War II raged on, the scientific community became increasingly aware of the potential of harnessing nuclear fission for military purposes. In response, the United States government initiated the top-secret Manhattan Project in 1942, with the goal of developing an atomic bomb. Recognizing Oppenheimer's expertise, leadership skills, and organizational abilities, he was appointed as the scientific director of the Los Alamos Laboratory, the facility tasked with designing and building the bomb. At Los Alamos, Oppenheimer assembled a diverse group of brilliant scientists from around the world, collectively known as the Manhattan Project Team. Under his guidance, the team successfully developed the first atomic bomb, which was tested on 16 July 1945 in the New Mexico desert, resulting in a massive explosion with far-reaching implications. The successful test of the atomic bomb led to its deployment over the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945, effectively ending World War II. The decision to use the bomb remains one of the most controversial ethical dilemmas in history, with Oppenheimer expressing mixed feelings about the devastating consequences of his creation. After the war, Oppenheimer became a prominent advocate for international control of atomic energy to prevent nuclear proliferation and to ensure the peaceful use of nuclear power. However, his association with leftist political groups in the 1930s and early 1940s raised suspicions during the post-war era of McCarthyism and the Second Red Scare. Accusations of being a communist sympathizer and his past involvement with leftist organizations led to a highly publicized security clearance hearing in 1954. Despite Oppenheimer's unwavering loyalty to the United States and his contributions to national security, his security clearance was revoked and he was effectively blacklisted from further government scientific work. This marked a low point in his career and personal life as he faced public scrutiny and professional isolation. Despite the setback of losing his security clearance, Oppenheimer continued continued his research and academic pursuits. He returned to teaching at the California Institute of Technology and Princeton University, where he made significant contributions to theoretical physics, particularly in quantum mechanics and astrophysics. In the following years, public opinion gradually shifted in favor of Oppenheimer, and his contributions to science and the war effort were recognized and celebrated. In 1963, President Lyndon B. Johnson awarded Oppenheimer the Enrico Fermi Award, the highest honor in the field of nuclear science for his significant contributions to the advancement of atomic energy. Throughout the remainder of his life, Oppenheimer remained an influential figure in scientific circles, although his involvement in the Manhattan Project continued to be a topic of historical debate. Some argued that he was a heroic figure who played a crucial role in bringing World War II to a swift conclusion, thereby saving countless lives that would have been lost in a prolonged conflict. Others criticized his involvement in the creation of a weapon of mass destruction, fearing the potential consequences for future generations. Generations. Beyond his scientific achievements, Oppenheimer was known for his passion for literature and the arts. He had a profound interest in poetry, philosophy, and languages. He was fluent in multiple languages, including German and Sanskrit, and often quoted from literary classics in his speeches and writings. J. Robert Oppenheimer passed away on February 18, 1967, at the age of 62, leaving behind a complex and controversial legacy. His contributions to science and his role in the development of the atomic bomb continue to be subjects of historical and ethical discussions. In the decades following his death, Oppenheimer's reputation as a brilliant physicist and visionary leader has only grown. He is remembered as a man of intellectual depth and moral complexity, whose work shaped the course of history and whose reflections on the consequences of scientific advancements remain relevant in contemporary debates on science and ethics. In conclusion, J. Robert Oppenheimer's life and career were marked by extraordinary scientific achievements, coupled with the moral dilemmas and controversies arising from his involvement in the Manhattan Project. He played a crucial role in the development of the 
atomic bomb, which had a profound impact on the course of World War II and the subsequent Cold War era, his legacy serves as a reminder of the responsibility that scientists bear for the ethical implications of their discoveries and the importance of using scientific knowledge for the betterment of humanity.